Today, guys, I'm going to teach you how to sharpen using the V sharpening rod system. This is a great system. It's super fast and easy to use. I'm going to be belting out this information really fast, so we're just going to jump right into it. To get started, you need good lighting. You need a flat surface. Take out your rods, put them in the preset slots. Super easy setup. I mean, you're ready to go. That's one of the fastest setups on it in, for any sharpener. These are set at preset at 30 degrees. So when you hold your knife straight up and down, that cuts it in half to a 15 degree angle. That's our preferred angle for most knives, kitchen knives, pocket knives, hunting knives, most knives. So I'm going to crush this edge here on a sharpening stone. And it is incapable of cutting through the paper. So to get started, you take your knife, you take the heel of the knife and you start at the top of the rod. I'm left-handed. If you're right-handed, you start on the right-hand side. Left-handed, you start on the left-hand side. Start on your diamond side at the top of the rod. You're going to start at the back of the knife, the heel of the knife, and you're going to go down it. Just nice and easy. If you have a belly, if, you're, if it's rounded at the tip or at over here, you're going to round out with your wrist. Slow and steady wins the race. You want it to be accurate. If you're going too fast, you're not going to be exact to right angle. And if your angle is wrong, you're going to take two steps back. It's going to really dull it. So you need to be nice and slow, nice and easy, going down, holding it straight up and down. Because this is a super dull knife, we're going to be using the diamond rods. They're going to sharpen the knife faster. They are a medium fine grit. You can think of grits like sandpaper. A coarse sandpaper takes away material faster, but does not do a super fine finished job. These rods have diamond dust adhered to the rods. The more pressure you use, the faster it's going to cut, so the faster it will sharpen. Don't use crazy amounts of pressure though because you don't want to scrape the diamond dust off of the rods. That will reduce the lifespan of your rods. Here we have a close-up of the knife edge. You can see it's all kind of scraped in the same direction along the edge. That's how you know you've done a good job. It's all going in that same direction and you've sharpened that entire edge. Now, if we look at the tip here, something's a little bit off. It's not at the same angle. If you look at to see the lights reflecting off it differently, it's not at the same angle as the rest of the edge. So the tip is going to need a little bit more work. So we're going to focus on the tip and do just a little bit more sharpening on the tip rather than the entire blade and try and get that all to that same angle. You can see on this section here, I'm going up and down with the rod on the same side. That's going to be a little bit more inaccurate. It's not going to be quite the perfect angle, but it's going to take it away a little bit faster and kind of speed up the process. You want to finish this out with long, full strokes to even out the entire edge. So we've fixed our tip. The tip is uh, doing much better. We've used the diamond rods. We should have a nice, fine, toothy edge on our knife, and that'll get you a great cut. And it'll, be, it'll do pretty decently. It's going to do. It's going to slice your paper. If you're not quite slicing paper on these medium fine diamond rods, uh, the, your edge isn't quite right. So you're going to need to back trace a little bit. You may need to use more pressure or check the angles you're doing at. Make sure you're doing it straight up and down. Try the sharpie chick trick. Sharpie along the edge there and see which parts are coming off to make sure you're actually sharpening that entire edge. And that way you can kind of see where you're getting sharp. But with these diamond rods, you should be getting paper slicing with the knife. It's not going to be amazing paper slicer. It's going to have a little bit, it's going to be a little bit ragged. But once you fi finish that up on the ceramics, you should be getting a nice paper cut. So we're going to finish up on the ceramics here. Your goal is to get all the little groove, all the tiny little grooves you put in with the diamonds and you're going to polish them out with the ceramic. This is going to just refine your edge and get that to that nice smooth edge. Ceramics work just like the diamond rods. You're going to do the same stroke starting at the back, pulling back, pushing down at the same time at a constant rate, constant pressure, rounding out with the tip. Keep your knife straight up and down. Um, same with the diamonds. With the ceramic, you can start out with a medium pressure and then slowly graduate into a lighter pressure. That's going to get you just a little bit finer edge. So we finished up on the ceramic rods. Now you should be getting a really nice paper cut. It should be super smooth and you should have smooth lines on here. All that's left is cleanup. For the diamond rods, they don't get dirty very fast, but when they do, you can just wash them off in the sink, no problem. Ceramic rods, you don't want to wash in the sink. The water will actually push the steel dust inside and it'll rust and it'll kind of kill the sharpening. What you want to do is get a rust eraser. We sell these for five bucks typically. Uh, check the website for current pricing, but about five bucks. 
This eraser lasts you pretty much forever. I bought mine like six years ago and I haven't even used a quarter of it. Just use that, erase it off, do it over a trash can, over a piece of paper. Don't breathe that in. And before you put up your kitchen knife, make sure you wash and dry it. That way you're not accidentally ingesting any steel powder. And there you guys have it, super easy. The V sharpener just folds up, goes in your kitchen drawer. Super compact, doesn't take up any room. If you guys want this information in written format, I'll have it in an article. Check the link in the description. As always, stay safe, stay sharp, and have a good one.